Hi folks, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Village Clockmaker. I'm James, and first I want to apologize for not putting up videos for some time now. Uh, the reason was I had spinal stenosis, which is also known as um, sciatica. It's the pain in your back that runs down your legs and I had it pretty bad. I couldn't walk for several months. And it's, uh, luckily I found the right doctor. Wonderful surgeon in, in Portland and at Maine Med. And uh, that operation was about 10 days ago and I am 100% perfect. Really, really wonderful. So we're back to work and uh, back to making videos whenever I can. And again, I apologize, it's been, it's been quite a while, but uh, I was out of commission. So, uh, tonight's project is, uh, we have a pivot to put in. This wheel, it's a concrete wheel, out of a uh, carriage clock, like this. This is another one. I've got four of them on the bench right now. Um, and um, the problem with this is, how do you hold it? The pivot's broken on this end right here. And you can't hold it by holding it out here because it's going to flop around too much. You can't hold it by this for the same reason. Uh, you can't really hold it by that. That would require a four-jaw chuck on my lathe and that's a lot of trouble. So the idea is to put this in the lathe. Where's my drill the end of this arbor out and put in a new pivot. And I have my own way of doing that and that's what I'm going to show you. Um, let's go over to the lathe. Okay, the first thing I did was they make this little accessory. This is just a piece of brass, half inch brass, and this is soldered on. Uh, you could make it just upright if you wanted to make a slot in the brass, but this was a little quicker. Um, you see I've already got a couple holes in it that, that I uh, have already used. This goes in the, uh, you don't use the tool post at all. This goes in here. There we go. Uh, instead of using a, a um, starter drill, I'm, I like these burrs. God, it's hard to... I like these burrs. They, they last a lot longer, and this one's carbide. Um, and they work just as well, sometimes better. Well, I've got the wrong collet, so let me back up here a minute. Let's try an eighth. I push this in is only leave about an eighth of an inch sticking out there because I don't want to I want it as accurate as I can get it and I don't want that wobbling around okay so now I'm going to bring my stand up this really doesn't matter where this is in the in terms of the of the uh, brass You'll see why in a minute. As long as this is stable and doesn't move. There you go. Now, we bring up the tailstock. This is to keep 
when I go up against this, it keeps that nice and flat. It keeps this nice and flat so that it goes into there perfectly. This is not, this is moving. This is not tied down at all. And all I'm doing here is putting a starter in. Now I want to drill a hole. The same size as the arbor on the wheel, which is 052. So this drill is, I remember what number it is, but this one is 055, actually it's 054, so it's only two thousandths over. And it's not going to make, that two thousandths won't make much of a difference. Now I'll get rid of this. Get a collet that fits this drill. These are four C collets, incidentally. Same way here. I run that. I don't want that moving at all at the tip, so I'm trying to put this in as far as I possibly can. Yep, wrong collet. That's better. So all we want, <coughs> excuse me, all we want is a little stub sticking out of there. We don't need much. My other piece, here it is. This has a little hole in the end of it so that when that drill goes through, it um, has somewhere to go. It doesn't come up against the steel. Now I can see my, uh, my little dot there where I started. So I know I'm exact center of the, the um, spindle and the exact center of the drill. This is 360 brass, so it cuts pretty easy. See the reason for this to keep this perpendicular. Still not through. There it goes. Now, we have this beautiful little hole in there, which is just what we want. Now, with this collet, we can hold it by the pinion, clear out there. And you'll see if we move this, this is probably 10, 12 thou 
off center. But when we bring this up and we put it through our hole, which is a few thou under, And just a little bit of the end of the arbor sticking out like that. Make sure it's perpendicular. Now that arbor is perfectly centered on the spindle of the lathe. And it's going to work just beautifully to drill a hole in it. I think we'll uh, stop here. It's getting late. We'll stop here and uh, we'll come back in the morning and put the, uh, the pivot wire in there and finish it off. Okay, it's next morning. Now that we got this held the way we want it to hold, it's, so it's perfectly centered and not uh, flopping around, this is a very small um, center drill. We're going to try to drill the end of that out. Or start it rather, not drill it out all the way. That's all we need to get it started. to go very gently with this because it's a carbide and extremely brittle. So I'll just barely leave it in there a little bit at a time. That's probably deep enough. So oh, there we go. We can get in the middle here. There is the pivot or the new the new pivot wire. See if we can get that in there. There we go. So there's the completed job. Well, almost complete. Now I have to uh, put that in with a tiny bit of uh, Loctite and then um, burnish it, polish it off before it uh, goes in the bushing. So that's a wrap for this one. Uh, hope to be back soon. Got a lot of projects coming up, so uh, we're going to uh, stay on this and get as many uh, new videos up as we can. So thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like what you see, and uh, tell your friends. Cheers.